Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about a subscriber question that I got. Specifically, they want to know how to limit the amount of line twist when dealing with spinning reels. And there's really three main ways to do this, in my opinion. And I think the majority of line twist happens for one of two reasons. So the first being when you make a cast with your spinning reel, you open the bale, you fire the line out, and then if you just engage the reel with your handle, every time you do that, you, you get like a half of a line twist or one line twist in your line. Really what you should be doing is when you make the cast, you shut the bale by hand. Uh, and that's for two reasons. So one, you reduce the line twist, but two, one of the most common parts that breaks on a reel is the bale spring. And the bale spring is what will snap the, the line down or snap the bale down when you turn the handle. So you're actually putting more wear and tear on your spinning reels by using the handle to engage the bale. So I highly recommend just to shut the bale with your hand versus the reel, because not only does it prolong the life of your reel, it also prevents line twists. So I think that's like the number one reason a lot of people get line twists and they don't even realize it, but every time you use the handle to close your bale, you get like a half to a full line twist of line in your reel. So that's the first thing. The second is when you put line on your reel, you need to make sure, first off, there's two things. You need to make sure that the spool is flat and that the line is coming off, off the spool that way versus holding the line with, say, a pencil and reeling the line this way. You want that line to go on your spool the same way it comes off the spool of line. So with a bait caster, if you hold it this way and you pull the line off, it's going right on the spool, the bait caster, the same way it's coming off. If you put it on a spinning reel this way, the, the spinning reel is going to put it on this way, and therefore it's coming off and it's getting twists from the line as it's coming off the spool. So you want to make sure that your spool is flat and that the line is coming straight off and it's going on your spool the same way. But the key with this is there's a, there's a right side and a wrong side to use. So if you put your, your line on your spinning reel and you put say five reel turns on and you check your line, if it coils up at that point, you need to turn your spool over and then put the line on that way. If it does not coil up, that means that it's coming off the, the spool of line in the same manner it's going on to your spinning reel. That's a huge issue. If you if you do not put the line onto your, your reel spool in the same manner it's coming off, you will get terrible line twists with a spinning reel. So that's the second way to prevent line twists. <clears throat> the third, most of the line twists will occur because of the bait that you're using is spinning through the, the water as you're retrieving it. Now, <clears throat> some this, this little tip will not necessarily cure it for everything. I mean, if you've got, I don't know, say an inline spinner that you're throwing or a swim bait and it's not hooked right and it's twirling through the water, you're gonna get line twists. But a lot, of, a lot of times you get line twists when using, say, a drop shot. And that's because your, your bait is off the side of the line. So when you retrieve it, that bait's almost acting like a propeller and it wants to spin the whole bottom part of your line. So when you have that, or you're using, say, a drop shot, I love to put a tiny little swivel. This is a size eight. Uh, you can get them even smaller than that, but I'll put this swivel three feet above the bait. Um, <clears throat> and then that will limit the line twist that you get from say something like a drop shot. Now you can't necessarily use a swivel with everything, but it really does help if you have the opportunity to do it. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it between your braid and your main line if you're using a long leader, because then you're going to reel 
that swivel up into your rod guides, which could lead to potential rod damage. But if you can get away with using a small swivel, I would recommend doing it. You know, like if you're if going back to the inline spinner, if you're throwing a little inline spinner, you can put a little tiny snap swivel above that inline spinner, which is gonna limit the amount of twist. So guys, next time you head out, if you're getting line twist while using spinning reels, it's probably for one of those three reasons. So make sure you put the line on your spool properly. Do not use the handle to engage your spinning reel. You want to close the bale by hand. And then the last is if your bait is not rigged properly or you're getting spinning, uh, you're getting line twist because your bait is spinning, then if you can use a swivel, put a little swivel on and that'll help as well. If you pay attention to those three things, I guarantee you the line twist issues you're having will be drastically reduced. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, share it on your social media, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That gets you entered into my monthly prize drawings and uh, there's really no reason not to do it if you're not watching my videos on a regular basis. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned in for tomorrow. We got another great tip coming up.